Today has been an interesting morning. Oh, just trying to get this cam my new camera set up to actually work has been fun. I might lose a computer. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully that's not the case. Oh, this is a very dangerous setup. I'll have to show you all afterward. Uh, all right. It's roll for inspiration time. Alright. This is the dice we grabbed. And this is our roll for inspiration list. Let's get started, shall we? Two. A prompt challenge. Okay, cool. That means I take something out of this cup that's underneath this die and it's only a single prompt challenge so not that one that means we just get one word or we get a theme and we roll with that theme for an hour which is fine by me I'm kind of surprised we haven't rolled multiple recently so it's kind of interesting all right so that's our thing I don't know what that is so we're just gonna put all this back in what did we get a household steward like a uh, butler okay I think we could do some character sketches today. Not character design, which is what we did last week, but you know, just some sketches of a character. So let's see. Let's look up butlers to get some ideas. We can do famous butlers, like um, Alfred Pennyworth and um, the butler from Downton Abbey, whose name eludes me. I just know that he married Mrs. Hughes. I took all of my glue sticks out, didn't I? What la? Oh, right. And there's also Black Butler. So, you know, that's uh, the majority of what's just come up on Pinterest. <laughs> Gerard Butler, also a famous butler. Brett Butler. Oh! Gregory, or uh, Jeffrey Lurch. <laughs> Mr. Body. Alright, cool. This is much better. Much, much better. Bet, bleh, bletler. Bletler. Still looking for glue. I'll just put that there for now. The first one that came to my mind was Alfred Pennyworth. So we'll draw. Straighten that back just a bit. Maybe draw some Michael Caine while we're at it, because, you know. It was another really good one. I think it was... Oh, man. Um, Jeremy Irons? Yeah. I think Jeremy Irons did a pretty good job.
Or does it come... I don't know how coattails work. Let's give him a pocket watch for good measure. Carson, Mr. Carson. ears they're very long like how they like cut off like half of mrs. Hughes face <laughs> to get this picture like I'm not exaggerating like I mean his head is tilted up just a little bit um, because it, the ears don't match up with the the brow or the nose but he has like a significantly long nose too. So his face is kind of like that. He's got the chin. One thing I never understood is how like high collars became fashionable because no matter who wears like a really high collar they always like look like they're choking you and I guess like that for some people is nice but like it makes your neck like puff out and it makes your neck look bigger and then it pushes all of the neck skin up into your chin and so you have like seven chins and it's very unflattering on a lot of people, and I just don't understand how it stayed in fashion. Because it just doesn't, I don't know. Like, some people it looks good, like animated characters. But a lot of people it, it doesn't, so hurt me. Erzy is barking at um, construction people. Because, of course, they've decided that the week that I'm finally sticking to my schedule is the week that they want to do construction. Joffrey is the butler from Fresh Prince. I feel like I should do him some due diligence because he was a big part of my childhood. I just really love that sassy butler um trope it's like you can't be a butler unless like you're super sassy who was it there was a it was cindy um no it wasn't cindy uh cindy crawford sydney crawford and she uh she was in a movie Tom Green where Tom Green was like going through various uh, different jobs like he was going down the list of jobs I feel like it was a lifetime movie there was also like the movie where like how Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell uh, announced that they were a couple by doing um, overboard and I feel like this was the same case with Sidney Crawford and Tom Green. And has very hooded eyes. But so do I, so no judgment, just an observation. But his eyes are also very like droopy. Droopy droops. Droops droops. Droops me droops. He also has like some impressive eyebrows.
It'll be one of those days where I start talking about a topic and then immediately forget what that topic is. Welcome to ADHD hour. Does that look like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it doesn't. I think it looks like my dad. <laughs> Or you know who it looks like? It looks like John Goodman. I'm gonna put a side by side comparison of this face and the actor that plays um, Carson. Cause I don't know the the picture I'm looking at doesn't look like this. And then I'll put a picture of John Goodman. <laughs> it's like who wore it better? I gave him like a really wide neck. Let's do Joffrey. <laughs> he has a shirt. This is his face all over it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mm. All right. Um. What do you here? Do you bigger? Because you and Alfred, Joffrey and Alfred, were like the two that had like the most impact on my childhood I believe it's like I remember like everybody remembers Alfred if you watched um, the Batman the animated series like at any great length like I did and then bought it on VHS and then bought it again on DVD and are waiting again to buy it on blu-ray Or just find a place that streams it and watch it there for the rest of your life. You also, well no, not you also, but you have a very interesting face. And by interesting face, I mean shaped face, because it's like almost a heart-shaped face. What gets me is that when people talk about like face shapes, especially with heart shapes. Heart shapes are specifically about like this right here, like the widow's peak and like the pointiness of the face. So it's like you have a really round face that comes into a point like that. But it's like, it's a triangle otherwise if you don't have the widow's peak. And I don't, that is weird to me. Your nose starts here and swoops out. This is definitely a cast photo because he looks happy <laughs> and not sarcastic in any way. Another thing, like, you gotta have hooded eyes to be a butler. You know what I'm talking about? Just like Alfred, Carson, Joffrey. So he has what I have where it's like one eye is like squinty all the time and one eye is like a little more open and responsive to the world. It's like fairly noticeable on some people. It's far more noticeable on me. You have like a straight line here. Here and a whoop there. Let me see one of your ears. I can see like a little bit of that here. May have made your face too long. Yeah, I think I made your face too long. No, it's too late now. You don't look like anybody right now. <laughs> you will in a second, I promise. Didn't Laura Croft have a butler? Does mostly count as a butler? He was a concierge. God, I was playing a game the other day. It was a horror game. Um, 
I didn't like it. But I liked it, but it was just, I didn't like playing it. <laughs> and, um, you're in this apartment building and you keep having, like, you keep being told, you have to go down to the concierge. And I'm like, why is there a concierge in an apartment building? I've never lived in an apartment that had a concierge. I've always lived in apartments that had management that don't answer their phone. Yeah, there's another thing I'm not really good at is facial hair. I just don't want to get so that that's looking more and more like Carson the more I'm like not staring at it. This doesn't look anything like Joffrey and I think it's because I made the face too long. It's looking more like um Lionel Richie. I had this problem when I drew um, Chadwick Boseman not too long ago where um, I all, I made his head really long and then I squished down his face and um, I did the same thing to the voice actor of him from Powerpuff Girls which I do not remember his name it's like Tom something Do I have any blending sticks out here? Probably not. I do have napkins or paper towels and I can use those instead. I hope you enjoy the ambient sounds of construction outside because there's nothing I can do about it. I tell them to come back when I'm not recording, but uh, this is going to be a week where I am probably going to try and record every day because I need get more of a buffer. God, my, every time I look up, I expect to like to see my camera just kind of fall uh, slowly. And then the cinder blocks that I'm using to uh, hold them, hold up my camera, <laughs> just come tumbling down and destroy my computer. It's a very, very precarious. All right, so if you don't have a blending stick, you just get a paper towel, fold it in half, and then you take this end and you roll it just like that. And you can bend it over, hold it down with your thumb, and really get into those lines. And then you can darken as you need, like you can see where you need to put detail back in, where you need to take detail out. And then you can just move to another point and do the same thing. Just like that. Because I'm going to... I cannot see anything over here. It's all black. Because that was one of the things when I was uh, in middle school art, the art teacher would make us do still lifes and everything. And one of the things that she said consistently was, uh, only draw what you see. 
and I think about that a lot because like a lot of the time you have these areas that are just completely shadowed especially in the picture that you're referencing and you can't really see the detail so you're just kind of making it up as you go along and I have to keep that in mind when I'm drawing because I'm like you don't need to draw everything. Not ruin the face, so I'm gonna fix it. I'm just getting a nice covered area. I'm gonna get back in here with this. We have this spot here, this big old spot here. don't need to shade it that much just to make it look more like a highlight and not like darken these shadows over here because like I said this whole area is in shadow and I'll do some more put some touch up on these eyebrows how long have I been going 45 minutes that's pretty cool I guess we could finish up this page and then this will be something else entirely next time I mean we don't have to fill an entire spread every week we don't even have to fill an entire page every day. Because sometimes we just don't want to draw the whole time. look like Joffrey to me but you know what I like it I have the baby butler song from Steven Universe stuck in my head so we might have to draw that <laughs> if uh, you haven't watched it, it it's only referenced in like one maybe two episodes but it's like a very Greg Amethyst heavy um, storyline where we find out that Amethyst was very very much in love with Greg and um, but it got really weird when they would hang out together 
uh, watching Baby Butler because um, Amethyst would get really jealous of Rose. I never got into Black Butler. I think I cosplayed Finnegan with a friend for a minute. Um, and then we had a falling out with the person playing Sebastian. And it just got, oh my god. So like, I loved doing cosplay. Like, I really did. It fed my ego so much. But it is not worth the drama that comes with it. It really is not. Maybe I just can't draw Bishon in. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the reason why I just I can't. I've always had this problem with like anime characters in particular. It's just like I just never liked drawing in the anime style because it just never looked good when I did it and I like just wound up creating my own style. Yeah, this looks nothing like Sebastian. <laughs> This looks like a mess. Mm. I gotta protect Joffrey. It's my hands. I'm my problem is I'm left-handed, and I tend to draw when I draw on the left side of a page, and then I move to the right. It gets really gross and and everything. But yeah, I'm just not. <laughs> just not good <laughs> anime characters I can draw them in my style but I can't like I'm pretty good at copying styles if I like really do study them like uh, Gravity Falls Adventure Time things like that but I just can't do that with anime like or at least not with faces with bodies I'm pretty good at it yeah this doesn't look anything like him it's fine. This is a sketchbook where we're sketching and nobody's paying me to do this. <laughs> if they were paying me to do this, they would ask for their money back. It's like, that doesn't look like my, my hacky uh, butler man. I'm like, yeah, about that. But you're not going to get a hunky butler man. You're going to get a very sarcastic looking... Uh, Spike Spiegel code. <laughs> Who is another anime character that I, I've drawn him actually. I just realized I have drawn Spike Spiegel before. I've also drawn Vash the Stampede and Hal from Hell's Moving Castle. I've tried drawing the Gundam people, well from Gundam Wing a lot. I did a pretty good job with them because I was obsessed with Gundam Wing for a very very long time. Yeah, I'm making your shoulders very broad, and you are not a broad man. You are very, very much so not a broad man. And the picture I chose was him pouring tea. Uh, however, you don't get to see the tea. So, yeah. Because you get to see something very much more important, and that is Carlton. Wow. No. Joffrey. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I see where my brain went. Same show, definitely not the right character. How many knuckles do you have? That's, I guess that's the right number of knuckles, but that didn't look like. <laughs> All right, uh, Giles from the Nanny. Again, I'm gonna have to cover up Joffrey, and this time Sebastian, because I want to put him here. Jawline. He also has really long ears. Yeah, and like these ears actually, like he's not even lifting up his head the way Carson is. He's like, his head is pretty parallel. Like it's pretty straight. And he still has like really long ears. And floppy, floppy hair. Flopalicious hair. And he has. No, 
is just a lot of hair. More than Maxwell pretended to, <laughs> I guess. Also, hooded eyes, because that is a requirement for butlers, is to have hooded eyes. And they're really blue. Yeah, I know Carson had blue eyes. I don't think... I guess for like the sake of um, animation, I don't think they gave Alfred blue eyes. I don't remember. But I know like some characters had blue eyes for various reasons. You have one eyebrow that is skinnier than the other. And I wanted to say that's perspective. many forehead wrinkles. I don't think anybody else had forehead wrinkles. <laughs> or it's like, I wasn't paying attention on Carson. He might not have. Yeah, here is Giles. Alright, I'll do one more and it's gonna have to be Baby Butler because that's just the whole song. Baby Butler. Oh, Little Butler. <laughs> An orphan boy with sass and pep got dropped off on our mansion step. Little butler, little butler. We washed his face of dead leaves and now he works here as a cheese. Little butler, little butler. Oh, littlest butler, well, you're the butler who butlers are hard. So mop the floor and dust the shells and teach us less about ourselves. Little butler. Money. <laughs> oh. in the flesh love you people have too much money where's that show Cartoon Network should make a show about little butler teaching rich people the value of a dollar Little winky eye. One big eye. It's incredible like what sticks with you from a show because this was very much so just like a random episode and it just it's funny to me that I remember little Butler so vividly uh, other than the fact that I called him baby Butler first but it just It, it is very incredible what sticks like with with Giles. Like what I remember the most is like of course him uh, sniping at uh, C.C. Babcock, but 
also like this one particular episode where he was making a souffle and he uh, somebody told him oh by the way uh, we need to make like a heart healthy meal uh, because of like a guest that was coming over or something and he was like oh good to know and then he like slams the oven door with his foot um, be to kill the souffle because nobody told him prior <laughs> hey don't waste time on a souffle <laughs> and that's what I remember about Giles with Alfred it's like any time that he's like of course uh, whatever you say, Master Bruce, and it's like, I wiped your bottom. <laughs> uh, with Carson, it's just him getting scandalized by literally everything. Uh, Joffrey is just the sass master 5000. You know, and uh, I, don't, I don't remember anything about Sebastian from Black Butler because I never watched the show or read the manga, so. Yeah. But anyway. There are my household stewards, my butlers, and yeah, I hope you guys reminisced with me about some things and or learned some new shows that maybe you should watch. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today. Maybe I can zoom in. So. No. Yes. Yes. No, can't zoom in this mode, which is video. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Well, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.